Thank you so much for joining us on this week's Good News. We are sitting down with Susan over at My Rides in Jonesboro, and she's here to talk about all the good that they're providing right now for the citizens of Jonesboro. So, Susan, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and your role for My Rides in Jonesboro? Yes, um, I am the coordinator of My Ride Jonesboro, which um, actually is a program that's statewide. Oh, that's um, awesome. We have the My Ride Jonesboro, and I want to say before I even forget that there are two other wonderful programs in the community. One one is My Ride Kingsport, okay. and the other is My Ride Johnson County. Um, I've, I've been involved with seniors since college. Okay. Uh, that's just the passion of my heart is to serve seniors. Um, this is a wonderful, wonderful program. My Ride is a volunteer transportation program. We serve seniors in the uh, Jonesboro area. We started out doing just the town, but now it's the area. It is a door-through-door -door service, meaning if you have a doctor's appointment, our volunteer using their own vehicle picks you up at your door or inside your door, if you prefer, takes you to the doctor's office, stays with you the whole time, so that as soon as your appointment is over, we get you back home and through your door. Wow. Um, we service uh, seniors, 60 and over, uh, and they need to be ambulatory. They can have a cane, they can have a walker, mm -hmm. uh, they can even have oxygen, but the volunteers are using their own cars. Um, we started off doing just medical appointments, but we have since then branched. Um, we'll do uh, grocery shopping, uh, the all-important uh, hair appointments. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, and, and when we first added those on, I got to tell you, I was getting more phone calls from men than women, so just yeah. <laughs> to set the record straight. Um, but we all, we'll take them on any kind of an errand, um, anything they, they need. We've taken um, seniors to vote which is extremely oh, wow. important yeah. to them. Um, and lately, and thankfully, we've been able to take them to get their vaccinations. Yeah, that's awesome. That's yeah. amazing. So you ha started having a passion for seniors in college. <laughs> yeah. How, how did that start? <laughs> how did that come about? I don't know, because I... Um, I got a social work degree, okay. and I always thought I would do it towards children, but yeah. it didn't. It didn't work that way. And in college, my very first, I think, experience was um, being a, a caregiver for a blind el elderly woman, mm -hmm. and I would go and prepare meals and and uh, write her checks out for her and take yeah. her to church on Sunday and things like that. So. Wow, that's amazing. So, yeah. how long now have you been? So you started getting the the passion in college. How long have you been working with seniors? Um, I homeschooled all my children, oh, so I awesome. had different kinds of jobs then, <laughs> yeah. but after that, my very first job was working as a, uh, an activities director at a nursing home and okay. slash assisted living, and so I did that on and off for years, and then I um, went home for a while, and then this opportunity came about in December of, it was actually fall of 2018 when this program was, was um, being born yeah and i jumped at it because i could still be with seniors and and do something worthwhile make a yeah. difference that's amazing mm -hmm. i love that um so you said this is pretty much all volunteer basis they're using their own vehicle mm -hmm. their own gas their own their own money to to do this absolutely they want nothing in return they wow. my volunteers are the just the greatest people in the world they yeah. go above and beyond i always tell people we are not just transportation they go and do so much more for the for their riders yeah that's amazing i love that so how how many volunteers do you have now we have about 18, I think, right now. Oh, we wow. had more pre-COVID. Yeah. Uh, we lost some, rightly so, because mm -hmm. they were, you know, being careful for their health as for well. Sure. And yeah. actually have a couple of them coming back on board. Awesome. Um, but we've had about 18. Uh, we have three married couples that do it either separately or together. Oh, wow. They, they think of it as a ministry. Yeah. Um, our qualifications are for being a volunteer, 21 and older, um, m most of my volunteers are retired. They yeah. have a lot of time and they want to use it with purpose. Okay. Um, and you have to have obviously a good driving record. Yeah. Um, we do all of the background checks, you know, elder abuse and mm -hmm. sex, re sex registry. Yeah. Um, and of course all the criminal and mm -hmm. then the, um, DMV. Okay. So we make sure that they're, they're good to go. Yeah. And then we orient them and we do training during the, during the year. Uh, and we keep in really good touch with the drivers too. Yeah. That's awesome. I love that. So 18 now, um, and you had more before COVID. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. so how does someone, if they're listening right now and they want to get involved how do they how do they go ahead and, and start that process they can call me uh, my direct number is 
4770 or they can just call the Jonesboro Senior Center that's where my office is located okay. and they can get a hold of me there um, there's a, a, a short application to fill out then I do the background checks and send it over to the Jonesboro Police Department who finish that and as soon as those come back in clear which which they do yeah. um, then we do some training and get them on connected to the website that we use they choose what rides they want to take i don't okay. make anybody do anything this way they can tailor it around their busy schedules yeah. you know if it's a time of day they prefer or a day of the week or just a particular destination mm -hmm. um, but once they go through all the training i get them set up on the website and then they're good to go Okay, that's awesome. That's a pretty easy process. Then. It is. It is. If I can do it, they can do it. Yeah, <laughs> that's amazing. Um, now, I'd love to hear, see, so you're all volunteer basis. Mm -hmm. um, I would love to hear if you have any stories about about your volunteers, about, you know, them, you know, helping someone or maybe their lives. Because, you know, we know as, you know, being in, in volunteer roles a lot as well, like, being a volunteer isn't just you helping somebody else. It's helping you, really. <laughs> oh, absolutely. I see God work through this program every week. Yeah. He matches these drivers to the, to the riders. He chooses, he knows who needs what. Yeah. And sometimes it's the rider that needs something, and sometimes it's the driver that mm -hmm. needs something from the rider. Um, and the riders are all just so appreciative and so wonderful. Um, my favorite story is um, of a dialysis client that we had. He would go to dialysis three days a week, of course, twice a day. So yeah. many of our drivers would take him and um, they, just, they just learned to love him. And when he first started doing dialysis, he couldn't drive anymore. And he was a very um, gregarious person. I mean, he just loved to socialize and he couldn't anymore. Yeah. So once he started getting these drivers picking him up, his life changed. About a month after he started with us, his daughter told me that she uh, took him to a birthday party. And someone asked him, hey, I hear you're getting a new way to dialysis. And he said, oh my gosh, she said, you know, sometimes it's a woman, sometimes it's a man, sometimes it's a married couple. Yeah. He said, and they're so interesting and we have the best <laughs> conversations. Wow. And so this really, you know, up to his quality of life, and he would yeah. go home and talk to his wife about all these conversations. And but not only did it help him, it helped his daughter, who was the caregiver. Yeah. When I first met her, she was she was worn out, she was weary. And when I saw her again about a month later, her whole countenance had changed. Yeah. I mean, she just um, she just was a, a much happier person. And I'm sad to say that we lost him about a year, over a year ago. And I've got to tell you that this is the way my volunteers are. They were so heartbroken when yeah. he died because they had formed such strong friendships with him. Yeah. But I told them, I said, I'm so proud to know you because you gave him in his last days of life, you gave him dignity of life. Yeah. You gave him friendship and you gave him joy. Yeah. And that's what this program does for the drivers. It mm -hmm. just gives them that um, that sense of helping somebody else, yeah. you know? That's awesome. Being a part of something bigger Absolutely. than just themselves. That's, Absolutely. That's amazing. I love that because that's something that, you know, a lot of times we don't think about is, is when stuff happens, you know, and, and when you get older and mm -hmm. dialysis, it's it making life difficult. Right. So your your social life is affected. Absolutely. And, and you're not able to to necessarily have that much of a social life. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, on top of that, right now with COVID going on, it makes it even harder. So and just that. That's the other thing about my volunteers. Even though COVID was going on, we were getting slammed with phone calls for rides. Yeah. And they stepped up. And the ones that I have now take several rides a month. We, ha we originally asked for people to just take one or two. Yeah. But you get hooked yeah. <laughs> and so they take several a week and only because they want to not because yeah. they feel they have to that's amazing i love that i love seeing you know people finding joy in serving yes and being a part of something bigger and mm -hmm. feeling that or and getting that sense of purpose of mm -hmm. like hey i'm i'm not just here as like a you know just driving someone around right that's exactly. not just what you're doing exactly you are you are making a uh, a lasting impact in someone's life that now mm -hmm. that 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 older gentleman you know was bragging about <laughs> about this to his friends like 
that's that's what you're a part of. Right. You're a part of making a a potential eternal difference in someone's life. Absolutely. By something uh, that that could be as simple as just driving them around and talking with them, hanging out with them, right. spending time with them. I'll give you two other examples yeah. if you want. Oh, um, I, oh, yeah. I have a driver who uh, takes one particular uh, woman uh, many times, and she called to check on her, as our drivers love to do. Yeah. Um, and the woman told her that she uh, last week she had fallen. She has a steep driveway, and yeah. she was taking her garbage can down the driveway and fell, and it oh, fell on God. her. And she laid there for, she didn't know how long, until finally a neighbor saw her. Yeah. So my driver said, look, I drive past your house many times a week. From now on, she goes the day before garbage day, takes her can down. The day after, she brings it back up for her. Wow. I have another uh, rider that um, went, went to her doctor's appointment and they brought her, the driver brought her back home. And then the rider realized she had locked her keys in the house. Her son was at work. What was she gonna do? The driver took her back to her own house her husband and um, her treated her like royalty, gave her a safe, quiet place to rest for the afternoon. Three hours later, she drove her back to um, Jonesboro where her son met her and got her home. They didn't have to do that. She didn't have to do the garbage can. This lady didn't have to bring her into her home, but they did because they love to serve. Wow. That's amazing. You know. That's that's incredible that them just going so much more above and beyond what what they're even just asked to do. And and people think, you know, maybe that these are small things, but to these seniors, yeah. these are big things. Just like taking them to the drive-through for a cheeseburger yeah. <laughs> after an appointment. That yeah. is like big time. Yeah. That is big time. <laughs> that's that's amazing. I love that it's that it is a a simple act. Right. You know, just driving someone around is not difficult. You right. don't have to, you know, go to seminary to, <laughs> to do that. <laughs> you can you can drive them around. You can hang out with them yes. and just be kind. You know, love be kind. love on them. Yes. Um, there's that that song that we play all the time called uh, "Love God and Love People." Mm-hmm. Like that's what we're called to do. That's we're called to love about. God absolutely and love people. And loving them is is can be as simple as driving them around. And just hanging out, That's right. <laughs> talking with them, That's right. and and you're in situations like those like those volunteers were, where they went above and beyond. Right now, these people, these these ladies and gentlemen, are going to remember that for the rest mm, of their lives. Really, they make friends. Yeah, they make friends for the rest of their lives. Yes, that's which is. That's incredible. Mm. I love that. Um, now, if you can send me the links to to your your number, website, email, and everything, I I'll will. put the links in this video. Thank you. Um, so, if someone wants to 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 get involved, to partner with you, uh, in, in whatever way they can, they can they can find it in the description of this video, which is just on our website, it's wcqr.org. Thank you. This video will be one of the top ones up there, <laughs> and they can and they can access that. Um, now, I would like to give you a moment to to share what's on your heart. I like doing this towards the end of of every conversation uh, just to give you that opportunity to share what, what God has really laid on your heart just that we're here to serve I mean we're here to serve and God puts the people in front of you that he wants you to serve you just have to have the eyes to see and you have the have to have the heart to obey um, you know there's God appointments they're not interruptions and um, we just need to, we need to, to look, we need to look and we need to do as much as we can for the time that we're here. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much Ian Susan you. for being here and, and just sharing your heart and sharing all the good that you all are doing right now. Thank you so very much. Yeah.